With Terra Luna Classic posting two red candles in a row, a lot of people are very, very, very nervous for some reason. Guys, I, I understand that levels of resistance get met and pullbacks happen. I understand that price action is extremely sensitive when volatility is increased. But look at where we are. 21,000 points per coin as opposed to the 6,000 points per coin that Terra Luna Classic was trading at just two weeks ago. Look at where we are. The amount of social media interaction and excitement surrounding Terra Luna Classic is up 300% from where we were two weeks ago. Terra Luna Classic is in a much better state right now than it has been in a very long time. We're going to be discussing a little bit about it. We're going to go over some technical levels of support and resistance you guys should be aware of and a review of the outstanding proposals. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're going to be earning 5% on your cash balances. Do not miss out on this bull market. Make sure to sign up for an exchange somewhere and get yourselves ready and prepared. If you guys want cryptocurrency exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you get KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. And finally, thank you to everybody grabbing your bro merch off Amazon. If you bought this t-shirt today, and if your name is Tammy C, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the beautiful five-star review. And just in case you guys were wondering, Tammy says, amazing buy. I recently snagged the Claybro Navy t-shirt from Amazon, and I am convinced that it's not just a shirt, it's a wizard in disguise. The fabric feels like, it feels so soft, like I'm wearing a cloud. But one that has its act together, it never rains on your parade. This shirt is like the... Uh, t -t -t -t. Tammy, thank you very much for the creative review. Absolutely love it and appreciate it so much. You are going to win a bro hoodie. So make sure to let me know where I can send it, what size you want, all that good stuff. Either email me, find me on Twitter, the Discord, live stream, wherever it is. And uh, I look forward to sending you a nice Christmas present there. Guys, let's jump into what's going on with Terrell and Classic right now. Because it's very interesting that the people are so affected by the price. And, and, and you know what? If Terrell and Classic would have slowly been rising to the level we're at right now, people would be excited. But because it rose exponentially and then pulled back off of that 30,000 point per coin level of resistance, we've got people who are in a little bit of a negative slump right now. Two red candles in a row off of that resistance levels or off of that resistance level took us from roughly 28,000 points per coin back down to 20,000 points per coin, which is exactly where we found support. 20,000 points per coin was support on its way back down after the 2022 rally, and 20,000 points per coin is now support, once again, holding up strong, holding up true, and following the just basically textbook technical analysis. This is what we need to see. A pullback is fine, especially if it holds up to the textbook technical analysis. Now, I will say this. If 20,000 points per coin is broken to the downside, uh, it's okay. The next level is 16,000 points per coin. If that level gets broken, I don't want to say panic, but if that level gets broken, yes, we should be concerned. We should be much more cautious about a pullback uh, leading to further lows because the next real level we have is that 12,500 point per coin range. And if we go all the way down there, that's a 50% decline essentially from the current levels that we're at right now. And a 50% decline is a very heavy decline. So it's, it's whatever your risk tolerance is, that if you're willing to hold beyond a, a fall below that 20,000 points, then you're looking at 16. And if you fall below that, you're looking at 12,500. So please use those numbers as levels of support. To the upside, this is where people should get excited. 30,000 points per coin is the level of resistance that we need to break through. 
in if. Not, I mean, when, if you guys are optimistic, but if we break through 30,000 points per coin on Terra Luna Classic, if Bitcoin continues to bring confidence to the market, maybe an ETF approval is around the corner, the Bitcoin halving is inspiring investors, no matter what the story might be, if we break through that 30,000 point per coin, the only real level of resistance is that fresh high we hit around 50 to 60,000 points per coin. And if that is broken, there is no technical resistance on the chart for Terra Luna Classic. That could lead to wild gains. It could lead to a bull market. And it could lead to growth like we have not seen in a very, very long time. Guys, we're talking 2021 level gains uh, if we're able to break through and have no technical resistance on the chart here. Now, just briefly, to go through these proposals that are out there, I want to once again say congratulations on the unity within the Terra Luna Classic community because we have a, a roughly we've got three or four proposals out here 11.890 is the software upgrade for v v2.3.2 the terrad client update 99.9 percent .9 yes votes 0.01 percent no zero percent no with veto and zero percent voting to abstain it what is today the sixth yeah that is going to pass and or it passed this morning by the time you guys are watching the video here that that passed and it passed with flying colors congratulations on the unity within the community in that upgrade right there the next one project echo to turn ustc into a gas token I believe that this one is to gauge the community on whether or not they believe this project should go through, but I don't think that you need the community's approval in order to build your own software and to build around USTC. So please remember that if this is your proposal out there, um, yes, it's not necessarily gaining a ton of attention right now. A lot of people simply abstaining to vote, but I believe that that's because you don't need our approval to build for and around Terra Luna Classic and USTC there. 13% yes votes, 21% no votes, uh, 0.43 no with veto, and 64% voting to abstain, and it has not yet met quorum. The last proposal on the list right now is an obvious spam or scam proposal, and that is getting hit. This is a beautiful red one. That is getting hit with 99.5% no with veto, and then a 0.47% no. And for some reason, somebody's voted 0.01% are voting yes on that proposal right there. Terra Luna Classic is still looking good, even though the price is pulling back. It's a healthy consolidation at this point as it's maintaining levels of support. We should only exercise caution once we begin to fall down below these levels of support and, and I guess keep up the optimism and the excitement. I want to know what you guys think about it down in the comments and if that button right there is still red make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord and until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day. Let's get started.